Welcome to our final section of NumPy and Pandas Tips, Tricks, and Techniques. And in this section, we're going to tie a bunch of the stuff we've been talking about over the previous six sections into a capstone where we write a class of reusable functions to help us do our work. And in this video, we're just going to see how to set up that class. I'm going to be working in Spider primarily for the first several videos and then we'll demonstrate the functionality in the final video and that will be in Jupyter Notebook. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and make a file. I'm going to call the file finance. And this will be the file import as we start to work with our class later. Next, we have to import a bunch of libraries to support our class. And most of the libraries that I'm going to import are pretty familiar. OK, so here's a library that we haven't seen in previous videos. And it helps us work with the date and time to parse out the ISO style dates into year, month, and day. The last thing I have to do is set a matplotlib property to suppress some warning messages you get about working with dates and times. Okay, so there are imports and our settings. Next, we're going to go ahead and define our class. So I'm going to start with the class keyword, then give it a name. And by convention, class names are capitalized. And then we can go ahead and start defining what this class can do. I'm going to start by just defining the functions by name only, and then we'll come back in subsequent videos and flesh out those functions. So we're going to have one that's called get data, and it needs a symbol and a date. And so to be able to save this, I need to put some code in here. And I'm going to use a shortcut and just say pass. All right, so this is a Python keyword that allows you to compile the code without getting any errors. But it doesn't actually do anything. Okay, we're going to calculate some basic volatility statistics. And that's going to take a data frame. And I'll set a default n of 21, so a 21 day look back for whatever we're doing here. Okay, again, we'll just pass. Next, we're going to add some moving averages. Again, it's going to need the data frame. And I'm going to have a fast moving average which I'll set by default to 21, a one month look back again, and then a slower one, which I'll set to be a quarter, so 63 days. We're going to look at intraday volatility, so we'll call that the high low, and all it needs is the data frame. OK, so those are the basic data analysis functions that we'll be using. And then I have a couple of advanced ones. So we'll look for options expiration Fridays. OK, and then we're going to look for periods of low volatility.
Finally, we're going to visualize or plot some of our analysis. So I'll make one called Plot Magnitude. We'll plot the moving averages. And then we'll get a histogram of our volatility in terms of standard deviations. Okay, so in this class, these are all of the things we're going to be able to do. And then we're going to come back in the subsequent videos of this section and fill out these functions.